Hi everyone, and welcome to my next video tutorial, which is going to be focused on integrating a color field for our Django models. And we'll also be able to utilize a color picker in the Django admin as well. So it is quite an interesting library which we can integrate. So as you can see here, we can also change the color of or for, should I say, our models with a color picker in the admin interface. But more on that in just a moment. So as always, what you need to do is ensure that you have a simple Django project up and running and all set and ready to go. As you can see, I have my Django project and I also have a app here called CRM. So I also have a Django app, which I'm going to utilize because we need to make use of models as well. So make sure you've got the bases set up ready to go. So a Django project and a Django app, that's really all you need for this tutorial. So let's get started. So what you want to do is first of all, go ahead and install the Django color field library. So we can head on over to our terminal and you can just say pip install Django color field. And so just install that package. Okay, so just going to take a moment and there we go. Then we want to add color field to our list of installed apps. So we can head on over to our projects settings.py file. And here's my list of installed apps here. So I'm just going to add in the following. So color field, there we go. Okay, and we've got that set up and ready to go. So you can also go ahead and run Python Manager Pine Click Static. You can go ahead and run that, but um, we do not need that um, necessarily in this example that we are working with. So you can go ahead then and just run your server for now, but we are going to create um, a model or two just to get this integrated. Okay, so we've got everything running, great. Okay, so we can stop our server, we just needed to run it. So let's head on back to Explorer and we can close that. And now what we wanna do is continue. And as we can see here, we would need to integrate it as follows by adding in the color field to our model. Now, what I recommend that we do is go ahead and just create two sample models. So I'm going to go to my CRM app. Then you can navigate to your models.py file. And what we want to do is just add in uh, two models, for example. So I have two sample ones here. So a book model and a publisher model. So you can go ahead and utilize the same ones I'm using. So I'm just gonna paste that in like that. So you're more than welcome to pause the video and just go ahead and add in these models as well as you see fit. Or you can just um, use a project that already has uh, models of your own choosing in place. So you need to, you just need a model at least or a basic structure for it. And then we're just going to append a unique color field um, field onto our models. So as you can see here, what we would need to do is to say from the color field dot fields uh, library, we want to import the color field um, um, function in place here. All right, so we've got that set up. And then what we can do is we can go ahead and add in color and also the color field that's set here. And we can add that to our models. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the following here. So it's like an extra field essentially that we are adding onto our model. And we can see the default is set to the following here. So that's going to be the color that is set on the default. So that should be a white sort of color. And we're going to add that to our models. So make sure you've added in the following. And then we're just gonna make our default migrations, register our model, uh, create a super user and access this in Django admin. So make sure you've added in the following into place. All right, so once you've done that, what we can do is go on ahead and make our migration. So you can say python manage.py make migration. So we wanna create these models. After doing so, we want to push these models to our default SQLite database. So you can then say python manage.py migrate. Perfect. Then what we can do is we can just go ahead and leave our server as is. And we now want to register our models in admin.py. So I'll open Explorer, go to admin.py. And what we can do here is just say from dot models. So it's going to refer to our models.py file in the same directory. Then we can say import, and we want to import our two models denoted by the following classes, so book and publisher. So I'm going to say book, comma, and I want to copy publisher, like 
such. There we go. And then we're going to utilize admin to register our models. So I'm going to say admin.site.register and we're going to put in book as the first model to be registered and then admin.site.register and we're going to put pub, excuse me, publisher to be registered as well. Then what we can do is we can go ahead and create a soup user to access our Django admin to see these models. So I'm going to say Python manage.py create super user. And it's just create a super user. So I'm going to leave it on the default. So no. to email skip, enter in a password. And again, okay. And then we can just run our server. Okay. There we go. And now we can head on over to the Django admin. So you want to just head on over to localhost and then forward slash, you can say admin. I'll take you right here. And then we can enter in our super user credentials. Right. So once you've entered in your super user credentials, you can proceed to log into the Django admin. Okay. And as you can see here under our app here, so mine CRM, we have a book and publisher model. So let's go to book. Then we can say add book. And as you can see here, we can see we've got a color set. So of course this was red, so this was white. And we can see we've got a color set to our model. So let me go ahead and create an object. So here I'm just gonna say book one, say John Doe. And of course you can go on ahead and change the color here as you desire to uh, appeal to this as is. So let's set this to like a greenish color and say save. So we've got that object that we have created. Now let's go back to CRM and let's go to our publisher. Let's go to our publisher model and create an object. So the default of course is red. And let's go ahead and set this to, um, let's say Linus uh, doors. And of course we're gonna say address and let's say uh, New York. And we're going to change that color so we can set that color. Let's set that to uh, like a purplish color of sorts and say save. And as you can see there, we've gone ahead and created those two, those two objects. And we also have a color field to dictate that object's color that we have set here accordingly into place, we've got that all into place and set and ready to go. All right, so that is essentially how you can go ahead and add in color fields for your Django models. Now, something else I also want to mention is there's a lot more that this library extends with. For example, as you can see here, there are field options that you can also integrate in terms of the following custom options such as format, image field, and samples. So as you can see here, here is a simple example here of how you can integrate it with format. So for example, with that color field, as we can see here, um, the format here is set to hexa. So of course, you can go ahead and um, adjust the format here to what you would prefer. So for example, we have hexa, of course, there's also RGB and RGBA. So just keep that in mind here when you are adding in the colors for your color field and what format you also want to integrate it when you are essentially dealing with the colors that you want to show here and what is set up into place. Because by default here, as you can see, we were just using the default option here, which of course was like a reddish color. Now, of course, you can manipulate that to what you desire and what you want to set it as into place. Of course, we can also utilize an image field as well. This is also something that you can also utilize here in terms of the colors for the pixels that you want to have it represented it as. All right, guys, so that's it, guys. I thought this is quite a interesting and fun library that you can integrate into your Django projects. And of course, there is a lot more that you can observe here and what you can tweak, depending on what you would like to set up and how you would like to integrate it all. All right, guys, so that's it as always. So thank you for your support and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.